What's up? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you in how to use a slider in JavaFX. The slider lets you select a uh, numeric value uh, by dragging or sliding the slider knob. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you in how to use the slider in JavaFX. So I'm going to open my scene builder and what I have here is a label and the slider. So in this example, I'm going to show you in how to get the value and display the body temperature and if the temperature is less than 37.2 it displays the normal temperature or else it has a fever so let's select the slider slider control and let's go here to properties section what we have here is the minimum value, the maximum value, and the value itself. So the minimum value is zero, and we can set the these to 10, for example. So I'm gonna leave this as zero. And I can also set the maximum value to 200 or 100 only. So the value is, when I'm, when I'm going to set the value, it, for example, 10, the knob right here will go here at the 10 something like that so I'm gonna leave this as 0 and the value increment we can set that we can uncheck or check these tick marks or and labels so this is the tick marks this one the lines here this is the major tick and these are the minor ticks here the small ones so if i'm going to uncheck this the ticks is hidden and this something like that so i'm gonna leave this as check and the major tick this is 10 this it displays the 10 20 30 40 if i'm going to set this to 5 it will display 5, 10, 15, 20, something like that. And I'm going to set this to 10. And the tick count, this one, the minor tick count, it displays the minor ticks here, the small ones. If I'm going to set this to 3, it will display 3 minor ticks in each, in each uh, 10 major ticks all right and I'm gonna set this to 5 so we can also set the snap to ticks if we drag the slider the knob it will snap to the other tick so we can also set the orientation and other properties here and I'm gonna set the FX ID I set this to slider and also the label to temp so I'm going to save that and let's go here to view menu and let's copy these codes here copy and let's paste this to our IDE in the controller and I'm going to implement the initializable interface initializable and implements methods and when I go when I'm going to slide the slider slider knob we get the slider value and set the value to our label so to do that I'm gonna call the slider and value property that add listener I'm gonna call the I'm going to write observable value and extends number. Num and I'm going to call the number and let's say old value and another number which would be the new value. Alright, 
now we have the if we am going to if if we get the new value we should get the value of the slider so i'm going to call the uh, temp label and i'm going to set the value temp that set text and the body temperature temperature and space and call the new value here so if i'm going to run this example in this program we get this so if i'm going to drag this knob here to 10 we could get the this value but in this in this case we get 13.3333 something like that and to fix this issue we need to use the string format so i'm gonna write a new line and call the float make a float data type and equals string that format and percent that one f and new value like that so i think i'm gonna float that value of off all right what's wrong value okay so I'm gonna replace this to value and let's try to run the program to see what that look like now if I'm going to drag this knob here we should get this so now if our value is less than 37 or greater than 37 we should get any results here so I'm gonna write an F statement if value is less than 37.2 temp that set text and make a new line concatenate and and normal normal body temperature displays the normal body temperature f else else f else value is greater than 37 37.3 will display you have a fever and let's try to run the program to see what that look like now if i'm going to drag this knob it will display normal body temperature if the temperature is greater than 37.3 it displays you have a fever and that's it i hope you learned something new in this tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and i will see you in the next video